Herb McCandless. I drove for the Sox and Martin team from 1970 to 1974. They hired me in 1970 to drive their second pro stock car. I used to tell everybody Ronnie had the best job in the world and I had the second best job and I didn't care. I loved it. We got to race for a living. We got to travel all over the country and meet hundreds and thousands of people. Uh, this is the 1972 Demon that Gail Mortimer and I built in 1972 to compete in pro stock with. We finished the car about the 1st of May in 72. And there's a lot of very, very unique things done to this car because we were learning as the cars got faster and faster how to make them better and better. Gail and I spent a lot of time with this car making the, stack, the chassis much stiffer than anybody else had done their cars in that particular time frame. Everybody kind of thought the cars needed to twist a little bit or whatever. We made this car really stiff and that turned out to be such a big plus, it was unbelievable. All right, these cars back in 1972, we actually had to push the clutch down and shift the gears. There were no clutchless transmissions. There was no magic. These were Chrysler 18 spline four speeds, basically like came off the showroom, is we knew how to put the stuff together and how to make it work. We braced the transmission, we braced the firewall, nothing flexed, nothing bent. We knew how to set the ratios on the pedals so we got the maximum release of the clutch so the car would shift good. And that was basically what there was to driving it. I'm 68 years old, I never drank in my life, never smoked, never messed with dope or nothing else. But these kids that think they've been on a high, they don't even know what a high is. Let me tell you, when you put this car in fourth gear and you're looking out the window and Bill Jenkins is beside you and you're in front of him or Don Nicholson or Ronnie or whoever, that is a high. Let me tell you, there's no way to describe the feeling of winning a big race in one of these cars when the spectator stands are full and the, you come back to the car, you get out of the car and there's people all around the car. It's, it's the most fantastic feeling a person ever had. And we live that every week. And, and it, was, it was just wonderful. It was fantastic.